My current drop shot rigs are standard, that is, made up of a hook tied to a length of fluorocarbon using a Palomar knot. This rig isn't difficult to tie, but getting the hook in just the right place on the leader can be a challenge, as well as making the hook sit at the right angle and stay there. When a drop shot rig is tied using a Palomar knot, the hook, and hence the lure, doesn't move around much and the rig does suffer from line twist. I have gone and bought something that should, hopefully, improve my drop shot rigs and help me catch more perch, and this is a packet, make that two packets, of the Corum Snapper drop shot hooks. Tying a drop shot rig with these hooks simply involves tying a bit of fluorocarbon to the bottom eye on which the drop shot weight is attached, tying another bit of fluorocarbon on the top eye on which a swivel is attached, which is then attached to the main line. This process not only takes a few short minutes, but it is totally foolproof and the hook ends up in the optimum position every time without fail. Since there is no guesswork and having to cut long lengths of leader to tie the rig, wastage is reduced and the cost of the final rig is minimised too. Now it's time to put the Corum Snapper drop shot hook to the test and see what it is like to fish with. In order to see how the lure behaves on this hook, I had a little play with the rig in the margins and I have to say that I was impressed. I knew that using these hooks would eliminate line twist and this is the main reason I bought them. When lifting the rig out of the water to recast the lure, the hook was freely rotating and there was no line twist at all. When I lift rigs with, rigs with hooks tied using the Palomar knot, there was loads of line twist, even using barrel swivels between the leader and the braided main line. I also knew the additional movement of these hooks would let the lure move around more freely, however I didn't appreciate just how much. The lure moves around a lot more using these hooks than conventional hooks tied to the leader using a Palomar knot and this is going to be a lot more enticing to the fish. Using these drop shot hooks there are three clincher knots in the rig. The greater the number of knots, the greater the risk of slip knots and line breakages. When targeting large fish using multiple knots in a rig is a big no-no and you're asking for trouble. When dealing with perch, using multiple knots is not such an issue because they don't grow anywhere near as big. Having to use three clinch knots in my drop shot rigs as opposed to a Palomar knot and a single clinch knot doesn't concern me one bit and I don't see it affecting my catch rate at all. The biggest problem with these hooks is the smallest size they are available in. It's pretty big and much bigger than I would like. When I drop shot for perch I like to try and use the lightest tackle possible and this means small hooks. I find size 10 is a good size as pretty much any size perch in the broads other than the ultra small ones that is, can fit a size 10 hook in its mouth. The smallest quorum drop shot hooks are a size 6, and whilst not particularly massive, they are obviously bigger than the size 10 hooks I often like to use. Overall, I am impressed with the quorum snapper drop shot hooks. They are tough, they are strong and they are super sharp. I like the fact the hook can freely rotate, and I like the extra movement this gives the lure. Using these hooks there is no line twist at all. If you're targeting larger perch, I would highly recommend the Corum Snapper Drop Shot hooks as they will make the task much easier. If, however, you want to or don't mind catching the smaller perch, these drop shot hooks aren't going to be much use because they are simply too big.